let's look at problem number 23. In problem number 23, I want to find dy dx for y is equal to cosine x over sine x plus y. So we want to take the derivative of this function that involves some trig functions. And first and foremost, when I look at this thing, I don't look at it as a bunch of trig functions. I look at it as a quotient. I have a function on the top, and I have a function on the bottom. So that's what I'm concerned with first and foremost is I have a quotient, and whenever I have a quotient of two functions, then to take the derivative, I really need to use the quotient rule. So the quotient rule, uh, we should be familiar with that by now, and so dy over dx. The first thing that we do whenever we use the quotient rule is we take whatever is on the bottom of the fraction and we write it down first. So let's go ahead and write that down. Uh, on the bottom I have sine of x plus 1. So I write the bottom down first. And then I multiply by the derivative of what's on the top. So I want to multiply that by the derivative of cosine. And the derivative of cosine is negative sine. So the derivative of cosine of x is negative sine of x. So I have the bottom times the derivative of the top minus, now I write down the top and leave it alone, cosine of x, times the derivative of the bottom. And so I want to multiply by the derivative of what's on the bottom. Well, what's the derivative of sine of x? The derivative of sine of x is cosine of x. So I write cosine of x. And the derivative of 1 is 0. So the derivative of sine of x plus 1 is just cosine of x. And then I divide by the bottom, sine x plus 1, quantity squared. Uh, and now I could multiply this out. I could probably get some simplification. Uh, let's see what we would get real quick. So this is uh, sine of x times negative sine of x is negative sine squared x. And then I get minus sine x uh, minus cosine squared x divided by sine x plus 1 squared. Well, Negative sine squared of x minus cosine squared of x is negative 1. So I could just write this as negative sine x minus 1 divided by sine x plus 1 squared. And if I really wanted to get fancy, I could factor out a negative 1 on top. I could write this as minus sine x plus 1 over sine of x plus 1 squared. One of the sine x plus 1's cancels. I'm left with 1 on top, which would just leave me with negative 1 over sine x plus 1. So if you get to this point, I have already taken the derivative. So if I ask, what's the derivative of this function? This is the derivative right here. But if you want to clean up the derivative and make it look pretty, then this would be the form that you would